fair or not. I, I think we right. can keep that pretty short. I mean, or essentially, we, we, oh. we would just pull in your scripts into DevNC instead of our own scripts. So the one thing that seemed kind of weird was that the, um, uh, <coughs> the you said the hardware packs contain both bootloader uh, like stuff and new bootloader packs, new uh, bootloader enemies, and the kernel. Uh, surely for the kernel, we want that package so that we can. Yeah, we want to be pulling the kernel out of the start. Well, it is packaged, right? Oh, it is all packaged. The way that, uh, let me explain it first. Why? Uh, what is it and how do we do it? So, so is this session in session now? Sorry? Yes. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And, uh, yeah. But you have a question about the idea of the What is you? Okay, let's talk after the meeting. After the meeting. So is there an agenda for this meeting? Yeah. Yep. Yes. What's your agenda? Um, the narrow builds, um, we now use its images based on something they call hardware pack, which contains Google and Google. Um, and they merge that in, on the user's machine or uh, into an image that you then can write to this. No. In Ubuntu, we produce ready-made images for SD cards that you directly can DD. So uh, this step, they do, would be necessary to be done in our image build system, which we don't do yet. That's what this, so, this so meeting this, is about. This meeting is about uh, integrating these two pieces. So we can easily build images uh, for the architectures that did not have support. So um, the way that we're doing it is that we, we didn't want to have like tons of different images, like big images to support. So we just decided to create a root of fast with live, live, live build mm -hmm. and, uh, and then have what we call as a hardware package. It's basically a tarball with a few other packages that we install. Hang on a second. With Hang on a second. Sorry? No. <laughs> uh, there's a basically a tarball with a few other packages that we installed it together when we <coughs> wrapped it in our media crate. That is basically get, going to get the root FS, the hardback, and generate the image. Basically, this is kind of the same image that we have for, for the bin 2 that is the evil and that you can just flash it on the SD card, for example, and write it down. So, the thing is that we are supporting, because of that, we are supporting more boards and more easily than, uh, uh, than what's done on the Ubuntu side, and we are also replicating a bunch of things. Because, I mean, the logic of is specific to each board, and to, like, where to put the bootloader, how to flash it, where's the kernel, and such, it's, it's very specific okay. to board to board, and we are duplicating that information. I know we've been talking about this for a year, but wasn't the master plan to move that all into Something, something else. else. Yeah, but then like got hired as a product manager or <laughs> <laughs> Right, but I still that might be the right answer. Well you changed up a little bit. That looks good. Yeah, job, I think to, to from up to wait. Yeah, sure. he's not a big big boss. <laughs> well, he moved away from up to yeah. Now approaching the process and it's being soon the journeys. Oh that fits it. That fits away to the right. Yep. Better than uploading white space changes in package descriptions. <laughs> so um, once you are, I think that the, the benefit of you know, if you can, for example, or either merge or or start using the technology on, a, on, on the Ubuntu side is that basically because then we we, we are not going to replicate that information anymore. And as the narrow is kind of working with the prototypes and a few other words like. Uh, a little bit before than Ubuntu, then it would be easier to Ubuntu to, to decide to have like uh, another SD card based image. To right. What I what I would like I to be able to do. Yeah, but I know it's like CD one. What I now. What I would like to be able to do is uh, tweak uh, the Linux image tools enough that I could merge parts of the branch into that in CD with just a these repo or these are merge. Yeah. So so um, we can just. Mainly just take your parts or parts of your parts. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> you guys can just use off screen. No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we'll probably switch to off screen as a new We will in some well, 2004 we distro. Well, we stuff. used to use off screen, but now we moved to Jenkins. So. Because we can easily cross the, the bootstrap with the, with the live build support of Keeman. So. 
Right, so what I would like to do is uh, to uh, have all the code maintained in your branch. And just all the more specific code you need. Yeah, and just pulling, just pulling from your branch, merging it into Debian CD without having further code changes. This all still needs to be in Flash kernel anyway. So why That's are we thing. not still making that be the only centralized database? Yeah, we can move to and, 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 run it, and run it in the, during image. No, no, no. It'll have the, the, the hardware, the, the centralized database of what needs to be done. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The database. Will deal sure, with that. Sure. Like, I, I don't see necessarily how hardware packs play into this at all. Because yeah. while hardware packs can be used to apply changes to um, a root file system, very, very soon we're not going to be shipping a root file system that way anymore. We're not going to tear apart a squash FS and put a new kernel in it. Why not? Because <laughs> we're not. I, I was I was proposing an architecture years ago uh, when we when we just uh, stack another another squash FS on top of uh, the existing squash FS where you have kernel and modules and everything in in the, in the separate squash FS file. That is actually doable. Yeah. Yeah. It, so it's getting out the way of the AUFS. Uh, AUFS would what is it new to add as many overlays as you wanted? Is it yeah. uh, overlay FS is a plus one? So you need to first mount and then mount the second one on, that, on, on top of yeah, that. But which is still not doable. Yeah, that's only a design. Yeah, it's issue. just a bit more annoying. But effectively, we could live with one root FS and or have Casper modified in a way that it stacks or stacks squash FSs or on top of each other. And then just pull in what, whatever you want. And indeed, ubiquity would probably be. And to it, it probably doesn't support that use case. Can't overlay multiple file systems. But you, 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 instead of doing one mount with multiple, uh, doing the stacking, you are going yeah, to have to use two mounts. You stack several mounts yes. on, on top yeah. of each other. And, and you are going to have to tweak uh, ubiquity to look at two different ROFS path uh, when you're saying uh, yeah. this is going to target. I think Maybe even the spec files are always very interesting. What is it going to do? Image creation or doing the image creation and solve it? Uh, both. Doing, doing, you would have have to have um, that that mounting stack during image finish, so you write into into the wrench or mounted file systems, or the modules yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and slash root, um, and then you would indeed need Casper to to uh, do the right flips and uh, flick the right switches on. The root. So you need to, need to do it on both sides, yeah. and Ubiquity would have to know that uh, it has to copy. This additional squash has to. I think it copies from slash anyway. It doesn't that copies from slash RFS. So we just do the. Yeah, we so do have to point point point. We have to live right. inside our own. All you need is to make the thing that you want to be copied to the target system to be slash RFS. That's just the thing. Right. So you can yeah, first overlay one function there, but that's the Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> So that, that would be an opportunity to, to actually have the hardware packs inside this um, the second layer squash of this. Sure. Without any, any without any further tinkering. We said we had a blueprint for it or something? We we had a blueprint for it years ago, I think it's two years ago or something. I have to dig it out. I yeah, remember already hearing about the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we did we discussed it early in, in when we did Start with ARM images. But I don't know why we dropped it. I think it was even before you dropped it. Mm -hmm. well, it would be fairly doable. What are the changes that we I mean, I, I tossed around the idea of doing multi stage live FSs like five or six so years ago for other it. reasons so that we could have one. Base image and then put Ubuntu desktop and Kubuntu desktop yeah. on the top and of we, that. But we had a plan to do that and it kind of fell down because uh, there were there were some weird complexities with having to uh, overwrite the status file yeah. particularly, um, which we have to do here as well. Which we have to do here as well. Yeah, but I guess it's also this is it a better approach than than uh, just putting in our media creator. Or not. That's the question. I mean, we should pick a direction. 
I think there, there's two, four, there are two, four, there are two four, bugs. There are two snug bugs, but there are two things. One is to have the single place where I can gather all the machine related information thing, and how are we actually going to produce the images? Right. Like, what kind of approach? Do the old styles we're doing them for any copying them stuff during the image creation, or do we really would like to stack all things in different uh, And also, uh, thinking of the, the actual uh, stacking and column with uh, value to package sales, uh, mm -hmm. um, that was a big problem when using AUFS because it's, um, well, it just stacks a bunch of parts and one on the other, but they are not diffs, basically. Right. Uh, whereas, if you do it in two steps, doing the first mount of the internal image, then the other one, you, the actual image you are stacking on top of it is going to be to need to be um, a U, an OpenFS delta uh, file system, mm -hmm. uh, which then is going to kind of solve the value stairs, um, the package stairs problem in the process as long as it's been built using the right uh, underlying image. Okay. Well, but, um, it's it's simple to make have, a few things for users have, to look at these images. The sure. we have would be, would be empty files or empty directories anyway. Mm -hmm. The modules wouldn't contain well, any of the package stairs. Yeah, but value package stairs being the biggest, the, the most annoying one. And I just remembered why we dropped it for oh, mm -hmm. this backpack, but because we switched to pre install. Yeah. And pre install doesn't use any logic. Mm -hmm. So it's only possible in Casper. But we're going to have this, well, not that we're going to have the pre installed image anymore, but we're going to have like this live CD image, it's kind of the same thing, this is yep. one of those. Doesn't matter much. Because, yeah, because we would need to have the this DD mobile image compatible with SD card at least to store the live CD, live, live SD card. Yeah. Yeah. And then <coughs> run the installation from there and then do the right thing and set up all the hardware and such. Yeah, that will be a novel in, <laughs> in the release notes to describe all <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I it. I it. We will write several pages. Yeah, how many pages? Please go read. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I trust my Adobe engineers. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Since we have a relationship to our new hardware. Well, thanks for your partnership. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, can, we, can we strike a partnership with some hard drive manufacturers? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buy some stocks or something. Um, it should be good. Yeah, yeah good. as all 72 Panda board owners go. Canonical <laughs> 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 means revenue now. <laughs> we can show it off. Well, I, actually, that's not publicly true. I, I, Fixed Casper uh, to allow a net booting of the live image. So you can actually net boot the live installer and install from there. Which should be directly used to work as well, but then a bit. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, we yeah, got the yeah, manager yeah. and yeah, um, yeah. I also fixed the um, yeah, SIFS support in it. And I got the so why are we still building net boot images? Because lots of people use them. Yeah, but they could use live images. <laughs> it's not that simple. I mean, you kind of need so to set up. Just make the whole directory and link to the last use. What you don't want to do is install a desktop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> also, the input images are of the, the mini that ISO that you can use that's great and just works. Uh, whereas, if you want to put a desktop image, you need a server that's a Samba server, read write, with the right directory Samba? structure, or, or uh, NFS. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, NFS in the container is not easy to set up, so I'll fix Samba instead. Um, and you also need DHCP and TFTP with the right flags and everything. So, yeah. Much easier to just start the I. It is too much. You could just make a package that provides sure. all these configurations. Choo choo. Well, yeah, yeah it's, it's going to be extremely <laughs> useful when your DHCP server runs in AC2. <laughs> Thanks, Chrome. My, nut, my nightly backups. <laughs> oh, fuck. <fine. laughs> Change the time I zone. did. Oh. <laughs> 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 it clearly doesn't need me to do it. Sys logo, so uh, it's still logging with the thumbs up back when I was in Europe. <laughs> yeah, so do we want to go that route? It sounds very interesting, but it's a lot of work, I guess. 
Well, the the you have to worry over the stretch overly versus, versus 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 just merging in stuff. I, I I'm still not sure that we actually want to go the hardware pack route. Oh, but uh, the hardware pack is the hardware pack route that we go in both cases. Well, but in one case we don't maintain the code and just pull in from media create from the narrow. And in the other case, we write something from scratch that probably buys us something on other architectures as well. Um, I, I don't know what, but it could buy us something. What is worth the, the, the stacking of uh, second level a little bit? Mm, it's going to be useful for you but to at some point anyway. So I already added some way on the way to do this. So I don't necessarily mind implementing that part in Casper. Yeah, I, I don't think the, the Casper part sounds trivial. Yeah, yeah the, the Casper part is the most trivial one. Um, it getting, getting, really getting the creation of these squash offices right mm -hmm. without falling over when something is missing, and getting that bootable, that, that will be yeah. the harder part. It's not really but, the no, it's, it's, not, the, it's not really hard. But it's the tearing out the boot scripts and replacing them with what our immediate create that actually sounds like pain. But right. So, so I mean, that cannot be not necessarily a pain as once we kind of decide to actually do it, what we plan in initially is like separating the kind of the code base, at least how to get a meta information from it, kind of the boards and then to keep. Sure, if it's, if it's not a one step process, it becomes easier, right? Because when our immediate create and hardware yeah, packs, would we assume that you're taking the root of S and you're slamming your kernel into it and making it bootable, yeah. and we're not doing that. Because we're instead doing an overlay that has the kernel packages and the right bootloader installed. Right. Then so we're turning that well, into an image that we then want to make bootable. I wouldn't. I wouldn't propose to use Linaro Media Create in the case of stacked file systems. I right. would only use Linaro Media Create if we stay with standard live images and then have have their scripts or to make our, our images bootable. Yeah. No, I think stack no, really more sense. Sense. Yes. It's it's sense. Sense. Sort of We are continuing to use the live live SD file. I mean, we're, if we're 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 moving from we're moving from green salt to live. We already decided that yesterday. So, yeah, when our media create still wouldn't work on a regular live image either. No, so let's go with the stacked file systems, and or uh, the hardware pack lands in the stacked overlay, which means part kernel. We can use the tarball from 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 Linaro and dump the kernel, in. or can use the kernel packages from Linaro. But we would well, we want the kernel packages to be from our archive. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, they are in that. They are all in the universe. Sure. Is, is there a hardware pack method that just uses apt get instead of shipping the devs? Because we want to make sure that the kernel and the bootloader is coming from our archive. We don't yeah. want to trust what's in the tarball. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Well, yeah. It's a bit of a range of hardware pack, depending on which you're finding out. And then at that point, really all we're using from the hardware pack is the how to make it bootable stuff, which is why I kept arguing we really should fix this in Flash Kernel and make that. Yeah, because we need to yeah, separate so it. Yeah. yeah. But we should work together on it so the know improves in the, in the same direction we do. Yeah, like, I honestly think we need to make a number one priority to actually get the Flash Kernel centralized database crap functional yeah. to the point where it can be used in the hardware packs as well. Yeah. So. So everyone's getting it from one location. Which points to the narrow version of stream. So let's pull in flash kernel from Debian right after UBS. And um, then make sure see, it works. See how everything falls over. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think it supports, well, we, we only support a couple of platforms right now. So even if it's right. missing some support, it, it's going to be two minutes to fix it. So right. I know that see 100 works fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you've used it with? with uh, uh, no, but I know Debian users using it uh, from okay. from from Cisco. Uh, well, and MX5 should work because that's their reference platform right now. In Debian? Yeah. Huh. That's the only DI target they're building right now on RHF. Oh, sad. Why, do, why don't they do the pen? Oh, uh, MX5 happens to be their build base, so I suspect uh, that's why that's their reference. Because <laughs> I'll swap current with somebody that's bothered to it. <coughs> Okay, and once once we get that fixed, and then leave the flash kernel part, and we get. Uh, but I don't get the first sentence we wrote there. We will rip out hardware-related stuff out of flash kernel. That's, that's, that's the whole purpose the of flash kernel. No, I mean, but uh, the the meta information that I was discussing in the past, like at least to 
I, I did an extra check. I, I still saw the the idea is to just said here is to, was precisely the opposite to move the yeah. from the narrow no, 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 it's, it's, into flash kernel. Right. No, it's, but it's, it's meant to be on a separate so. package from flash kernel. Though. Yeah. Oh, I see. The flash kernel depends yeah. on, and that the neural media create depends on, yeah. and that we can nice. then pull in to Debian CD and do the right thing there, and everyone's got the yeah, same right. information in yeah. one place. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And we've so been it's not planning so much, this for So it's not so much move it out of flash kernel as yeah, yeah, yeah. a separate, Maybe binary, a separate package. binary package, but yeah, it'll come from flash kernel stuff. Yeah, put me in there for that action for, for the merge and, and flash kernel and stuff. And it's for the um, and for the stack, is, uh, stack file systems, or yeah, that's something we should share. Yes. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm happy with doing it, but apparently Stefan wants to do it too. So. Yeah, Stefan can do the, 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 the <laughs> Casper side. Yeah, I can do the Casper side. And we do, we do the Casper side. Okay. access to the uh, private events and stuff. Yeah. Um, so this is <laughs> what's the action for that? <laughs> 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 okay, it's Victor is, no? No, we will talk to the documentation team about that. Delegate. Yeah, I... Did you want you wanted to do the merge? Oh, uh, flash code? Yeah. Yeah. There's no merge. Well, or to sync it to we, a phrase. sync it over... And I guess once you've checked to see what explodes, um, I can work on the uh, breaking the database out into a separate package. And yeah. I think oh, you, you want it actually in a separate package? Why? Absolutely. Why? Uh, because I want it to be an Archall package that we can use anywhere that doesn't include Flash Kernel. Because I don't want to install Flash Kernel on it. Flash kernel CD can be Arch as well. It's I don't want to install Flash kernel on CD image. It's two shell scripts. I mean, it's not like and it runs it. every time you install a kernel. Don't check I'm for, for the architecture we run. Yes, it does do a bunch of checks, but it runs still. That's what I'm saying. Uh, you okay. don't want yeah. Flash kernel in the okay, database okay. to be the same package. <laughs> right. You don't want to be the hooks. Uh, want to have the hooks in your. your we just um, want. We want this. Is. This package is nothing but informational crap that then we can pull into when our media create Debian C D, whatever, and make sure that everyone's always doing the same wrong thing instead of different wrong things. So I guess once I've done that, there are you happy owning the making Lunar Media create use that instead of Sure, sure. I'm happy to do it. Yeah. I hate to duplicate stuff. And uh, would it be any, any other changes? Like, I know that we changed it, for example, the bootstraps for Panda. And now, uh, which did we need to change? Just density things? or? Uh, uh, yeah, the, 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 the scripts making it bootable are on Debian CD. So that would be. Yeah, so that should so end up being in, in this in that package as well. Yeah, Ultimately, Debian CD should contain no logic except what the actual file system looks like. Yeah. Anything beyond that should be in here. Do we actually use boot RMHF omen and RMHF omen for? Yeah. I think we only use the post boot. Oh, boot? No. I don't think boot scripts are useful to us. Let's Not with all the. I know there is something in these source scripts. Yeah, no, no one see. Oh, it creates the VFAT. That's not in the post boot. No, that's a boot. Oh, okay. Post boot just. Works. I don't know. Every time I edit these things, I just regret for what I need. I don't really pay attention to which file I'm editing. Post boot merges them. Fair enough. Anyhow, we'll figure out what to do with that once we've got the separated out database. And if Loic no longer gives a crap about this, um, that's awesome because it means I can change the format of the database if I think it's crap yeah. and we'll come up with something that works for all three of our use cases. Right. Um, we need to look into that thing that uh, makes you require a limit of uh, the new flash call can only can only read its uh, root equals stanza outside of the input. It 
to traverse the command line. And I think that's something we need to, or we want to fix for the world. I don't want to have a file in my inner program that's where well, my view ID is written, instead of having it on the command line. I don't know why Lloyd decided to do that, but so I, what? Flash kernel installer, yeah. Copies a file into your internet, that contains root equals you and blah blah blah. Yeah. And flash kernel itself can't boot without that file in place, the new flash kernel. Even if you put root equals UUID on the command line, it's ignored. It needs the file in the internet. What? That's, that's <laughs> Lloyd's design. I, 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 I said the same. You mean in 3.0, right? Because that's. No, that's, that's, in, the current, right that's in the current flash kernel in, in Debian. Yeah, and that's 3.0. That's what I'm saying. It's not yeah. in, that's not how we have things now. No. no. Yes, well, we will tear that out and make sure that it's the same. Yeah, that's what I mean. Well, <laughs> that's what I mean. Yeah, that's fine. Put an action for me to make it not dumb. <laughs> Do you need anything else? I don't know, it doesn't actually directly relate to this spec, but um, seems like a good place for the work item anyway. Someone record that I should fix FKI to uh, uh, actually respect command line arguments from the installer. Oh yeah, we have a back open. I have that two seems, bugs for that. Seems seems years. <laughs> well, and it, it's like 10 minutes of my time. I just yeah. didn't get around to it last second. So, if I've got to work what, on what's it, what's clearly it'll get done. Well, flash kernel installer, flash kernel installer doesn't, doesn't, extra doesn't extra extra yeah, yeah, it oh, doesn't yeah. do extra args like grub installer does. Which, if you're doing a DI-based install or whatever, is uh, really surprising. Especially if you're doing it over serial and then your serial port goes away when you reboot. Yeah, yeah. It's really special. Put me, put me on it. Yeah, put an well, action. Jolly could do He likes, he likes yeah. documenting things. Yeah, you yeah. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I did the release notes for, yeah, for yeah. ARM for years. And, uh, that's that's good. not that's, that's no good. problem. That's just the I'm going to go to. What about regarding the second file system? Or what, what exactly? Yeah, well, that we changed to live images, that we have stacked file systems in them. I don't know if we need to provide that much and detail. But, about how to start but, oh, okay. way. but the installation will be complete. Different and that needs to be documented. It should be in yeah, the, the actual technical aspects of it. We shouldn't release no, no one needs to know or care. It's just that it's now live images instead of work. So. Welcome to having to buy a hard drive. <laughs> Sucks to you, but you'll much enjoy your Panda when it is Oh, so we will get a lot more car users then that build their own SD cards by using the well, they found on OMP. Well, we are we are have like getting the, the and breaking the notion that ARM boards are slow by default. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It really, it, the, it really annoys me the default user experience right now is so crap. Because if you install an external hard drive, uh, a Panda ES is ridiculously fast. Yeah. They are not slow yeah, machines. But you will really scare the users away if it's too fast. We should probably underclock the board and shut off shut off one CPU. We did underclock the Panda ES for a long time. We can, we can do it again. <laughs> I mean, seriously, yeah. like 200 <laughs> Get back to this line. We really, really underclocked <laughs> to compensate it. We underclocked and undervolted it for a long time so yeah. it didn't explode. Yeah. It's okay. But now that's all fixed. And yeah, it's really fast now. It's power management in the kernel and the fact that it can actually run full speed. Yeah. yeah. Really nice. I traded my Panda for Panda ES last week and uh, I'm very happy with it. Was this it's not overheating? Yes. Yeah, peak gave me. It's not overheating and oopsie. No, no, I've, I've done a bunch of tool chain builds on it and everything. It's but hang on, I'm always dead again. Oh, I, I wanted to compile something yesterday and uh, apparently it, it's, it's oopsies again. Oops. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm running, I'm running a kernel around beta from around beta. Well, so, I'm uh, great. I should probably have to say it. I missed it.
miss doing it before. Oh, the, the release exactly. kernel has been ridiculously stable for me. Um, yeah, that's been good. Precise RMHF on a Pandas. I can't wait till our build these are finally upgraded because precise RMHF on the Pandas is really solid. I, I don't know why I'm shocked by this, but <laughs> well, it's a whole new like ABR architecture and such like in well, it it, we've got we've got <laughs> we've got sketchy kernel patches from God knows where, right? Uh, I, I don't trust vendor provided kernels for them. I can throw them, and then yeah, there's the the port that we bootstrapped and completely built in under five months, and it works. Like, I'll imagine, which is but it's crazy. It's sitting on top of a port that uh, already was was pretty okay. Army L. It would yeah, was but a lot of there. stuff had to change for Army uh, Jeff. Well, not in the single packages. No, no. But it's not like TA, uh, TA ABI versus old ABI. Oh right. God. <coughs> GLibc, GLibc trunk is going to be 216. Finally dropped OA, OABI support. It's oh, gone. Okay. So happy. Like I, I could almost picture the guy who was going through and making all those commits, like he was tiptoeing through the dingies and going, "Wee!" <laughs> could almost see the glee in every commit message. Like it, it cleaned up GLibc so much because OABI and EABI weren't two separate architectures. It was one ports architecture with a shit ton of if defs. Mm. It was so ugly. <laughs> Sorry, if I, I assume with, with GLibc dropping, OABI support is um, Lenaro going to completely drop it from the tool chains as well? I think, yeah. If I drop so that, this Well, because the, the last time I talked... Him on my, on my, on my the, the last time I talked <laughs> to... Uh, I don't remember. Uh, I, thought, I thought that story was over with, with precise use, but apparently it's going on. Which? Oh, they, 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 they still can't make their mind up if they want to merge Compass or not. Or oh, for fuck's sake. Now we have a blueprint. Now we have a blueprint. And, um, you don't need a blueprint. JFDI. Get it. Get it done. We have a blueprint, and they're, they're starting to discuss on the blueprint before the session already. and. Uh, Yes. <laughs> oh my god, I enjoy that fun. I mean, ah. Uh, yeah, well, the, two the, years. The argument, the the argument is now you guys are project. disabling plugins. Well, yeah. Well, doesn't do They have to, currently. <laughs> that's, not a, that's not a problem. But, but, if they're only but disabled, they are, way Their argument is not all users are Ubuntu users. I thought we maintain our own fork tree. I don't understand. What's the problem with disabling plugins only when building for GLES? Why is that a problem? Because not all users out there are Ubuntu users. And they want to use Compass as Compass. Without, yes, without yes without but, but all GLES users yeah. can't use these plugins because they don't work. So you either... It's not compatible. I mean... <laughs> it's pretty simple. You have three <laughs> options. You have GL, GLES, Software GL. No one's ever going to go with option three. Yeah. And for most systems, you have a binary option between A and B. You can't have both GL and GLES. So, what's the problem? I, I, I don't get it. You, make, you make that decision at a pretty low level, and then you're screwed. Like you can't mix and match. Ask Daniel which is Van really Vooch. unfortunate. Ask Daniel Van Vooch. He just brought it up on the on the whiteboard here. <laughs> Broken plugins should be considered a block, blocker. Unless the consensus otherwise is weak. Well, the whole plugin thing, it was like, it was broken from the start. Like, once they decided to only do GL compatible. Compass is just broken from the start. I mean, I, I, I love that, that GNOME has actually done this right. You know? The whole Coggle thing actually works really well. Apparently. It is now a lot better, yeah. It was, I mean, once the first unit you decided to use, like, Clutter and stuff, so like, but yeah, we got to fix it. Co Coggle looks really sane here. Um, and I, I like that it completely masks which GL you're using. Yeah. Uh, which, unfortunately, QT doesn't do that, which I wish it did, because with QT we have the issue where you, if you've selected GLES, it every, everything that links with QT needs to know that yeah. and needs to deal with it correctly, which That's is ridiculous. Stupid, actually. Yeah, they should have, 
abstracted that out so it didn't matter to applications. Look, look at that list of work items. <laughs> is this for GIS? Yes. Because uh, um, GIS is supported on how many of these drivers? Uh, I think it will, it will support GIS. Yes, yeah, so oh, Intel has GIS drivers. <laughs> Here we are. And NVIDIA has GIS drivers on all. <laughs> yeah, right. Which and um, totally irrelevant. None of the rest of those do GIS in the first place. <laughs> Yeah, I guess they want to they want to get rid of the if devs before they even merge. Do they understand how C works? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, is that the old voice? <laughs> don't ask me. <laughs> God. We don't want to support two different code paths with if devs, so what's the option? I know, why don't we just have two completely different code bases? But that, that's the thing. I mean, that was a problem, and that's why we are working on it like two years now. Yeah. When we started the discussion, they know it's fine, just if that everything, then it's okay. It was not going to The timing was the problem because, mm -hmm. because, because the timing is always had, a problem. No, if, we had, if we had merged in our stuff in our memory, as we want, <laughs> that wouldn't, that wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't have been the requirement for all these tests yeah. in our memory back then. So we would have had it in before the test requirement came out. Well, I, I don't see problems with requiring testing. Oh, uh, somebody has to write the tests. Yes, I realize which, that. Which nobody does at the moment. Because everybody's so busy in keeping the code running that there's no time to write tests. Yeah, that's an architecture decision, wrong architecture decision. And uh, I just saw that they decided to to do the such to, to stay with Nux instead of using KML and Qt. I think, I think it was mostly okay. Uh, still, like, it, it's kind of the same thing. It's, I mean, I, I, I still view GLS entirely as a mess anyway. I, I don't understand at all why they couldn't have just provided the same damn GL interface with a different version number, sure. and then you're done, right? You but do you know what is going to happen? Probably because not? GLES is just GL lacking some symbols. This is not. And I think that the, what is going to happen is that the GLES is going to be the default, even for general boards in the future. In the future. Because, I mean, they, they understand that they need that single, like, like working. GL module, like having both and then you're gonna screw it up completely. And now you're gonna have like even with the dead desktops like and uh, even this this compass like support of GLS uh, are, are being used by the Intel's notebook because of the majority yeah. are drivers and such. So I mean it's so stupid. Yeah. Well it, it always started with the GLES one, but it was completely different. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the problem is I think the original GLES should have just been OpenGL 1.0 yep. with extensions. Yep. And then everything would have just magically worked. Right? Um, and sure, it's great that, that OpenGL 1.5 and 2.0 and 2.1 have way more features and way more extensions. And if you want to program to that, you ask for the version and see if you can, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is how GL programming always works. But if you're stuck at 1.0 land, that's cool. Still can draw boxes and teapots. I don't know like <laughs> why it was. I think, yeah. So, here, Unity 3D. Oh, you got the renders. Yeah. Well, for some definition of fully. <laughs> oh, there's a uh, transparent. Yeah. They, they, it's the NVIDIA drivers. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure it's the driver. It is, because even on 2D, you can't draw boxes and shade them through. The yeah. only driver that actually works, like, not fast, but works perfectly, is the Mali one for, for the snowball. No issue, no glyphs, everything works. The binary only driver or the one that's the being binary engineered binary. by... Uh, no, the binary one. No, oh, but Compass is, 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 is really awesome. awesome. <laughs> Compass itself it runs really <laughs> great. Just sure, it's just really it's well. Yeah. But the unit is this. Yeah, but yeah. With running that driver even under 2D, um, I, it doesn't shape boxes correctly. If you right, that driver is bad. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> What'd you do? I, I minimized it to the uh, I minimized it to the <laughs> there, is dash. Dash. Well, there is there is a dash. Now it's up. 
Uh, as you can see, <laughs> if I press the scale, it goes away. You just don't see it. Beautiful. You can, but you can type so in blindly. If, 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 if you know what number everything is, then yeah. can you still use the dash? Uh, if sure, you, sure. If you sure. hit home one, will it do whatever number one is? Which I probably think it does not be random. So. I think that should be anonymous. Does it fire up something? Yeah. Oh. oh, it's your IRC yeah. client, apparently, <laughs> for you. <laughs> right, I, I obviously changed the order. That's a mess. Was the Army L1 like that, or is it just their hard club felt? Uh, the Army L1 had uh, the same issues with cleaning. I had CSS issues in the browser, I had all background issues in text input fields. Okay, so it's the same, I, I same fun, stuff that I, I saw. I have issues in Unity to be in the panel. Right. Only in the panel, which is very interesting, right? Because everywhere else the fonts were fine. I, yeah, I don't really understand what's going on. 